Who's got a problem? I don't have a problem. So that's what we're going to talk about today. Hey guys, we're getting crazy today and I'm going to attempt my entire Gymshore collection. Might be over ambitious. I'm going to swing at it. All right. I counted while I was sorting. I'm spoiled. I 43. I've got 43. And I was thinking that I'm going to start with my oldest, oldest to me. And then go around and we'll end with the most recent purchases. All right, guys. So the first gym shore I ever received were a Christmas gift from my dad years ago. Um, I ran one of the numbers on these guys. They are the seven dwarves and they're the individual seven dwarves. Sneezy. Oh my gosh. I think they came out in 04. I'm not sure. bashful but yeah I'd never heard of them uh Snow White was my dad's favorite Disney movie so when he saw these he bought them for me um I'm a spoiled spoiled brat and my dad's been buying me figurines since forever uh so when he got me these I mean I was floored by the detail the thing that got me was they look like they just jumped out of the movie those expressions the detail like Oh, I get why he bought them. But uh, I, I didn't start collecting them till years later. Sorry, I should show you the front. Happy? No, that's Doc, right? Doesn't say. Oh my gosh, this is embarrassing. It does say, it says Doc. But my 41 year old eyes, hmm. Oh boy, getting old ain't it fun. <laughs> guys look it's so beautiful okay so I know all the gym short collectors out there love the seven dwarves on the log I'm kind of a weirdo and that's how I collect um I try to just collect one of each character try okay try mainly because I don't I don't have space you know I don't want clutter but also like budget like if I got money to spend and I already have a sleepy then I want to spend it on a new character. And I think too, you know, my dad got me these so long ago. Look at him. The sentimental value is there. So I just love, I love that I've had these forever. I'm going to have them forever. I love that they're from my dad. It's his fault. I am a Disney fanatic. These are so special. Like I look at the log and I think, boy, I'm glad I have these. <laughs> This is happy. Oh my gosh. Look, the color, the details. Just exquisite. That gym short, mm, 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 mm. So yes, I had to take these out of the boxes. I know it's, I don't, I, well, if you guys watched my first video, you know, the room I'm in right now, I am turning into my Disney museum, my Disney gallery, but slowly I'm acquiring shelving. Um, and I just don't have a place for these yet. I will just not yet. So they stay in their boxes where they can stay safe. Dopey. There, the other, the dopey, wow, words are hard. The dopey, um, where he's going up a stair with the candle. I do love that one. We'll try to use self-control and not buy it. This is beautiful. I won't have to try. Oh, look at him, those ears. Okay, so this one, Grumpy, was not part of the collection my dad bought me. When he bought them for me, I think he was in a Hallmark, uh, they were out of Grumpy. And I'm sure you collectors know they're always out of Grumpy. I guess people who don't even collect Disney items 
by Grumpy. At least that's what he was told at the time. So when I finally started pulling my Disney out of storage to love it every day, I remembered. So I hit eBay looking for this cat. So I wanted to include him, seven dwarves, obviously, but he's a newer purchase a couple years ago. The next ones. Ooh. Am I like going to get excommunicated from the Disney community for saying this? I'm not a huge Mickey and Minnie collector. I think it's because you see them everywhere. I try to stick to very classic, classic Mickey. And I don't think it gets more classic than this. Doesn't the whole movie just come rushing back to you? Sorcerer Mickey. Oh, that hat. So many characters I want from that movie. Look at him. He hasn't been busted yet. You can tell he's so happy. See, I would have never picked it. I love it. I love it. I feel like it's so classic. And again, dad got it for me, so it's very special. Okay, the next two I'm definitely over the moon for. The details on these guys. Pinocchio and Jiminy Cricket. Let's go with Pinocchio first. This one takes my breath away when I take it out of the package. The details, the coloring, the shading is just, don't you see it? Don't you feel like you're in the movie looking at him? I mean, I know it's got that Jim Shore flair on it, but to me that doesn't detract from the character. The character is the Pinocchio. We all know, you can hear his voice. You can hear his voice. Oh, yeah, these aren't coming out until I get like a nice glass case, which I don't have yet, obviously. Oh, the detail on his little hinges, <laughs> a bow. Okay, Jiminy, with the let your conscience, wait. Official conscience, 18 karat gold. I was going to say, let your conscience be your guide, but can you see that? Oh, isn't he beautiful? Look at the paint job on his face. Gorgeous. You can, I can hear his voice when I look at this. This is why I'm a collector, guys. Love it. So again, years. I've had these for years. The boxes on the Pinocchio and the Jiminy are different makes. So I think most of you in the know, I think this is older manufacturing. I don't know when they started this one. So I didn't do my research on when that one came out. Oh, you guys, the Jiminy riding the seahorse. Or the Jiminy on the candle or the Jiminy coming down with his uh, umbrella. And I think there's an open match box underneath. Those I might break my rule for. Should I come across them in the wild, get lucky, find them for a decent price? Maybe. Do you guys remember when the styrofoam used to be like this? Like really dense. I miss those days. The next one up is Peter Pan. What do they call these personality poses? Oh, look, tags are still on them. This is the only one I have where the base, I think, warped, like the color warped, which I wondered if it was because I left it in the packaging and like that plastic did something, or maybe it was just the paint. The rest of them looks phenomenal. Gosh, you guys, that detail, that detail looking so mischievous, gorgeous. I didn't like love him when I first got him and now I'm really glad I have him. Guys, the next one, top two, favorite. I don't see this in a lot of people's collections. 
I cherish it. I don't know if I'll ever take it out of the box. Genie in the lamp. Look at me shaking. I don't want to drop it. Sorry, I'm like trying to show you the lamp, the expression on Genie. color as he's coming out of the lamp. Oh my gosh. Where to hold him. Isn't that beautiful? I mean, we all love Genie, right? What's you can't get enough Genie. Ooh, I think I broke my own rule. I do have one more Genie. But yeah, I remember taking this out of the box years ago. You guys, I'm talking before 2008. And I was just like, yeah, dad, you can buy me as many gym shores you want. Mm. Yeah, I cherish this baby. Gosh, did you guys get a look at his expression? Maybe, I don't know. If it's just my camera. And I know guys, I am a rookie at this, so my apologies. Yeah, the paint job, his little eyes. He's just, oh. <laughs> oh, I love him. Moving on. Okay, I love her too. Cinderella's kind helper, Susie. I've loved her forever. Just the, the details, guys, popped right out of a movie. Is there a scene where she's standing on thread like this? Again, you can hear her voice, right? You can hear her singing. Her little tail. Oh my gosh, look at the bow on her tail. I'm on the verge of setting up my Cinderella display, so hopefully she gets to come out soon. This guy, look at him. The camera doesn't do it justice. Maybe I should get Cogsworth. So I don't have Cogsworth, I just have Lumiere. Yeah, I think the camera doesn't do him justice. Like, he kind of looks, <laughs> I was gonna say cartoony. Yeah, I suppose he did come from a cartoon. The details in person, I mean, you guys all know, you've probably seen them. That's the reason I don't have Cogsworth is because I think when I see him, he looks a little too childish. Like I just, the detail isn't there. When I look at Lumiere, I'm like, oh, and again on camera, it's not necessarily true in person. <gasps> the deets on this guy, the paint job, the paint job, the paint job, the paint job, the sculpt of his face, that big, huge smile, the flame. I did stick to my rule. They came out with that one of him and Plumet dancing. I want so bad, but I knew I had him and I do cherish him. I love him. So I said, no, we'll see if the Disney gods should plop him into my lap someday in the future. Maybe this next set that I'm going to show cemented my love for Jim Shore. I, uh, it's also when my husband started buying for me, we were walking through the mall in one of those uh, figurine shops. <laughs> Looking for ideas. And I saw her and lost it. I was just like, oh, and get this. I married someone who didn't watch Disney growing up. Because of course, right? So I'm trying to explain to him that this here in my hand, she was in the display case, popped right out of the movie. The details, look at her. Look at that expression. You know what I'm talking about? Although I will say when she, I first unboxed her, I remember thinking to myself, oh no, there's dust in her little, it's not a bonnet. You know what I'm saying? That's not 
that's just the detail in these figurines. Oh, did you guys notice her block spell Nana? N-A. N-A. So yeah, I lost my mind and they showed up for Christmas. Look at the baby. I can hear the blocks as she's trying to get the boys into bed, get them their medicine, tuck them in. <laughs> and then Peg, still my only Lady in the Tramp. When I see the Lady in the Tramp figurines, they something isn't right about them to me. Then again, I just love collecting, uh, I call them side characters. It's like, yeah, she was in Lady in the Tramp for a couple minutes. And I love Lady. But I've yet to find a piece that really, that's a lie. Baby Lady in the hat. The hat box. Don't have her. Maybe one day. Oh, the tail. Look at the tail. Can't you just see her bopping around when she's singing? Oh my God. Yes. So the husband starts buying me Disney. <laughs> Things get out of control for the next, I don't know how long. Mind you, they're still staying in boxes. Part of the reason I kept them in boxes is I just felt like I couldn't display them properly. And I don't care for them everywhere in our living spaces. And I just wanted a beautiful display. I feel like these guys, Lucifer, look at that. Look at that grin up to no good tormenting Cinderella. But yeah, so I just felt like he needed to be displayed properly or not at all. I know, you can disagree with me. The upside is they stayed in fantastic shape. Look at him. When I look at this, I'm in that scene where, you know, he's his paws go into her dustpan and he's just making a mess, being a little turd looking fabulous <laughs> guys the paint job on his eyes i'm screwing something up here i don't know how to make it if y'all have pointers for a girl let me know i'm using my phone i don't have a camera yet i hope to get one but for now i'm just trying to make do Okay. Oh my God. Sorry, her face, there you go. So here's an example of me breaking my own rule. I really only like to collect items, figurines, images. When I look at them and I say, oh, it's like she popped out of the movie. I don't recall her making this pose on a flower. But when I saw her, I just was. She got that Disney proportion going on. I'm like, yeah, that looks like Tink. <laughs> and yeah, I know her um, wings don't look like that in the movie, but I just thought it was that Jim Shore touch that doesn't detract from the character. <sighs> and her hair's done perfect. And I just don't mind the base. I don't know. I This was beautiful. What's it say? I can never remember. <laughs> Let your dreams blossom. Oh, look at her little feet. The little balls on her shoes. Gorgeous. When I opened this, I was in front of my husband's family. And they all, well, not they all. Uh, one of his family members, like, laughed at me, like, in a scoff. And... I just became an out loud Disney adult three years ago. Every time I look at her, I think of like how I used to be such a coward. But like, I just didn't have the balls, excuse me, to love Disney out loud because I thought you have to be an adult at some point. And yeah, it wasn't until this year where my husband, sorry, I keep holding her up. You've seen her. Uh, I was in a really dark place and my husband encouraged me to pull the Disney out because he knows I turn into a child. Like I can't fake the happiness. It just, I watched Disney growing up. It hits that nostalgia. 
nothing but happy memories. And he's like, pull it out, do what you got to do. Let's get it displayed. So I, I did just this year, just started it. I guess I'm being repetitive. I've already told you guys that, but yeah, when I look at her, I think it's about time to pull her out along with the rest of them. And lucky you guys, I'm going to document it and you get to go on the journey with me. I just can't help it. Just, they're so awesome. They're so beautiful. The next three, I had no idea that like, I liked collecting villains. If you haven't noticed, we haven't had a princess yet. Out of 43, I only have one princess. And I have, well, I don't know how many, but right now I'm gonna show you three villains. And I think they're my top favorites. So there's the genie I showed you and the three I'm gonna show you now. This has always been the one I go to when people say, what's your favorite? He's on display. He's on my shelf. If you've noticed, the shelves look so sad and bare. It's because once I took my gym shore off, there wasn't much left. But that's where this guy is. Looks like the movie, doesn't it? That plume, that hook. I mean, even, I don't know what this is called. Some sort of scarf, necktie, his sword. You guys, the boots, the boots get me. Look at the detail on the boots. The way that weird flap comes out. And then if I, I just, you think I can't love it enough. And it, it's me. You hear his voice. You hear the rage of Hook. Look at his sandals and those big old toes. And once again, I just feel like the Jim Shore art does not detract at all. These are the characters we love. Although I can admit trying to watch Peter Pan these days, oof. Mm. Right, so I'm really proud of where Disney has gone these days. The history, oh, I had pulled this out the other day and just about cried. I've got a chip. No idea when it happened. Totally wanted to blame my husband for it. He just laughed. He's like, I am never in this room. Kiss it. <sighs> These little glasses, again with the eyes, hooks mustache. <sighs> Even the little chip. Mm. Yeah, one of my favorites. Did I say this was a gift for my husband? I am spoiled. This one's from my dad. We were Christmas shopping together years ago. Of all the Cruellas that are out there, she this is my favorite. Am I biased because I own it? Look at the expression on her and the puppies. We've got concern. We've got just how dare you? Anger, frustration. You guys, the details on this handbag. I mean, everything. Her outfit, her shoes. Look at our Dalmatians. The details are there. Oh, disgusting what she wants to do. And I love her. isn't she beautiful so yeah I'm standing in Hallmark with my dad I think we're in the checkout line and I remember she was on a low shelf why would you put her on a low shelf and I was just like <gasps> have to have her and again because I'm spoiled I got her oh I don't have her out I'd really like to have her out she gorgeous now, the next one I'm gonna show you isn't out because that, like that genie, I'm terrified that something will happen to her. Eventually, when I have an appropriate place to display her, <sighs> gift for my husband. It is 
the best Ursula, in my opinion. I know they've made a ton of them, but none like this. And I think she's one of the first. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. I think she's one of the first Ursulas to be made by Jim. Look at the scroll. She's got the scroll. Look at Flotsam and Jetsam. Guys, look at the detail on their expression. She's got the seashell necklace. I can hear their voices. That's why I got to when I, my husband knows. Like if I say it looks like they popped out of the movie or I can hear their voices. He, he knows it's a win. That the wifey gonna be happy. So this is my Frozen, my Moana. I think I was eight when this came out. I was in love with Ariel. No, I do not have any Ariel Jim Shore. This is what I think. I think I love the side characters. I love villains. And I think they're drawn so sharply, not comedically, but there's a word and I feel silly. I can't think of it. Whereas princesses are drawn like usually soft and like people. And I think what I'm finding is these figurines, it's very hard to put people in and capture them the way they are in a movie from the mid eighties or nineties. Whereas, I don't know, Ursula's defining features, that smile, those eyes, that hair. Why, why is that easier? I don't know. And then again, maybe I just love villains and haven't come to terms with it. All right, the next guy on my list is this sweetheart. Look at him. And I still have all the hands. Okay, I'm probably going to get hate for this, but I have yet to meet an Alice Jim Shore that I like. The closest I came was the Whitewood. I think that's what that selection was called. I think. Absalom. I was like, all I could think of was Caterpillar. Beautiful. But I gotta say, I like this guy more. Because how can you not? Oof. Look at it. The hair, the nose, the eyes, that smile. You hear it, don't you? I know you do. So do I. I'm so fighting the urge to do impersonations. I can't. I can't do impersonations. It's terrible. But you hear it, don't you? Oh my goodness. Love him. A personality pose. I want the hair. And I would like the hair more than I'd like Alice. And I love Alice in Wonderland. Woo! I want the universe coming after me on that one. Okay. Here's one I bought off eBay and I bought her damaged because the price was economical and I thought the damage was worth it. Evil Queen. And I think she's the only one I have like this with the back-to-back -back bit. So I'm showing you this side first. Dude, I think my husband was looking at this with me the other day and he pointed out that this is the mirror and snows in the mirror. Do you know how long I've had this and didn't catch that? But it's basically because I like the other side better, which I'll show you here in a second. Oh, sorry, that face is perfect. That's cold RBF, just like the movie. So there's one of the two pieces of damage. I told myself, ah, it's fine. I'll put a little paint on it. Do you know how long ago that was? Years. This is why I got this piece. Look at her. Good Lord. And those gnarly fingers. Hello. And check it out. The skulls. 
All right, guys, we're gonna try this again. My phone said I don't have enough room to be making these videos. Clearly it thinks I'm talking too much. But how could that be true? Yeah, look at this baby. Where was the other piece of damage? Oh, on the front. Maybe you guys already saw it. Right here, a little nick. So clearly this bad Johnny took a tumble. But I don't know, I feel like I can fix those. And I have this one displayed and I haven't fixed them yet. It doesn't bother me. Because there's no damage on the perfect side. Oh, she's so evil. Okay, moving on. I never asked for this one. My husband found it. He saw I was losing my mind over these Jim Shore Disney figurines. So he found this one for me online. I think he found it on eBay. So does that make sense? I'm looking at to see how old the box is. It's two pieces. I might be an idiot for trying to hold it up in front of a camera, but we're going to start with... You already saw it, so I'll just go there. I'm sure you can guess. Because that face looks like what? Looks like it popped out of a movie. What movie? Cinderella. First carriage. And then I broke my husband's heart because I didn't love it when I first got it. Like a psycho. Look how beautiful it is. Yeah, I was being a little brat because in the movie I was like, when the pumpkin's this big, it's like bluish white or white, very, very light. I was like, it's not orange anymore. And I love pumpkins, he was so confused. And I was also miffed that this was not the standard Jim Shore. I am so glad I kept it and got over myself because now I'm thrilled to have the first wave of the carriage. And she go like this, All right? just oh that's the other thing I was a little ticked off that like scale I was like well if the horse is this big and the carriage is this big I got over it both doors open I know in oh, see this look at that detail come on that's crazy same thing on the other side just crazy Beautiful. You see the chair in there? And again, is it, I love this one. I don't like the newer release, the one where she's in it. I'm not loving it. And I think it lights up. I mean, it's cute, but I love, love this. <laughs> All right, what's next? It's Dumbo and Timothy. You guys ever been to Leavenworth, Washington? Not, not just a prison. It's like a German resort town. We were walking by, there's, you know, like one or two main drags that just have all the tourist trap shops, which I love. And I was walking by the store and about broke my neck when I saw this baby in the window. And it was Easter. I should find out what year that was. We decided to go on a trip for Easter. Gorgeous. I would love a piece of art, a figurine, a print of baby Dumbo and his mama, Mrs. Jumbo, is that right? Oh, also scale. Scale means so much to me. So of course, a, a tiny Timothy with a big old, perfect. But yeah, I would love, I don't think, has Jim Shore made one with Mrs. Jumbo? I don't think so. I probably would have bought it. Now I feel silly. I was like, I feel like I've seen smaller figurines where Mrs. Jumbo is holding. Moving along. 
All right, so do you remember when I told you that Dad couldn't find me grumpy when he got me the first set of the Seven Dwarfs? So when I was on the hunt for grumpy, I couldn't find him for a decent price. I came across this bad Johnny and decided, well, if I can't get the little grumpy to match, I'm going to get this, this little fella. And he's so pissy looking. Oh my word. Months later, I found a smaller Jim Shore in my price range, but I still love this. And I love that I can have him displayed like anywhere. I have also noticed when it comes to my collection, I love villains and I also love I have a thing. If it's a pissy character, I want it. I say that and I was like, can you see Peg like Pete back there? <laughs> I have a type. And my husband's an absolute sweetheart, so. Oh my gosh. You guys, have you seen him before? I don't see this one in a lot of collections from cars. The details on this beautiful guy. You can hear him mooing. And I can hear Mater and Lightning's engine tearing up the field. Here's another little piece of perfection. Just watched this live action the other day. Here's a character I can see myself collecting too much of. But again, not a main character. That side character I just live for. And that pose, yas. Perfection. Fingers crossed, guys. <laughs> My phone keeps telling me I don't have space. And it's very rude because I was super excited about this guy. Look. I found this on eBay, shipped from across the pond. Gosh, I should have looked it up. I can't remember where from. It was damaged, but I was willing to accept it. There's a baby break right, well, there's a solid break right there, but it was a clean break. I don't know how Evan Rude, Evan's Rude didn't uh, get shattered to bits. But yeah, however, they, they glued it back on perfectly. I don't mind at all. And he probably is my favorite part Bernard and Bianca, I mean, are gorge. But yeah, I yeah, got this on the pre-love market. I just love it. I love them on the leaf, in the water, the scene from the movie. It's what I love. All right, the next one. I think there was a series he did with the bases that were oval like this. Like I know the Little Mermaid one when they're in the lagoon is very popular. Uh, human faces, just not, not my thing. Love this guy, she says, as there's a human face right there. But it's Mowgli. Hmm. Look at him. And I know this is going to sound silly, but my favorite part, I think, is these flowers and the leaves. Well, and it's just the iconic movie scene. A little lily pad. Oh. This is why we love Jim Shore, isn't it? These details. Like, it's the back. I don't care. I love it. Gorgeous. All right, what did I get next? Oh, speaking of Jim Shore themes, I think there, oh, look, I still have the tag on. Pongo. I don't have the babies. I think that's Rolly. I'm not sure. The one on top has eyelashes. Oh, I'd forgotten that she's got his little eye smashed. Sorry about the tag here, guys. I'm thinking about getting my hands on a Disney collector plate with all of the Dalmatians. I think they're in the barn waiting to get covered in dirt or soot. And then this guy and my Cruella, I think that would make a really cool vignette. Look at Pongo's smile. Beautiful. So what I was trying to say before I cut myself off with this theme with the rectangular base, and maybe I'm wrong, but I thought these came out at the same time. The three fairies. Good Lord. I 
I love they got their proportions right. But I gotta admit, this is the first time I got a gym shore. I ordered this one online. And I was a little disappointed. I thought uh, a comment I hadn't realized till just today. I keep saying some of these other ones that I pointed out. The eyes, the eyes, look at the eyes. And that's exactly it. I'm looking at it and they've got the features right. The cheekbones, the hair, the expression. But the eyes are not painted with the same detail. It's still beautiful. I feel like it ca captures them. I feel like I hear their voices. I love it. I don't have, is this my only Sleeping Beauty merch? Princess, is it Princess? Flora, Fauna, and Meriwether? Is that how they get introduced at the Aurora's announcement, her birth announcement? It's still precious, I love it, and their little wings. All right, my only nightmare before Christmas, Jim Shore. What's his name? <laughs> Not so evil eye. I think he's really sweet. Okay, another thing that might get me kicked out of the Disney fandom. I didn't watch Nightmare Before Christmas when it came out. I didn't watch it until 2019. And the only reason I watched it is because I was going to Disneyland for the very first time and my boss chewed me out. He's like, you're not a fan. You're not a fan if you don't Nightmare Before Christmas. And he knew since it was September that uh, Disneyland would be all decked out in Halloween. He's like, you need to watch it. Now I'm a fan. Now I see what all the fuss is about. And I want to get Bat Boy or Bat Kid. He's another Jim Shore I mean, there's so many great ones for Nightmare Before Christmas, but there's just a ton of great merch for Nightmare Before Christmas. But I think Bat Kid, Bat Boy would look dope with this guy. I think I'm gonna go with a grail piece. Um, something I was snoozing on with the Jim Shore. I totally missed when these were released, however many years ago. And I had a couple favorites, but this was absolutely What does it say? Just think of a wonderful thought. The deets, you guys. I mean, Peter's expression isn't fantastic, but Wendy, John, and Michael look great. And you guys, it wasn't until I got it, you know, that I noticed babe, a little tink was in there. It's this, though, this seam. <sighs> and they're flying. I love it. Yeah, definitely a grail. When I came across it pre-loved in a price that I thought was reasonable, I remember it was like four in the morning, maybe earlier, I was getting ready to go to work. Yes, I used to work crazy hours. I like shot off the couch, went and grabbed my wallet. There was a cabinet. Worth it. I love it. It's the only storybook I have and I'm so happy with it. I love the Pinocchio one and I think the Mulan one with her dad. That one's pretty cool. Oh wait, let's see, I put this. And I got these two. I love Cinderella. Cinderella and Little Mermaid were on loop when I was a kid. One was always in the little contraption to be rewound. And the other one was in the VCR. That's how old I am. Those Jim Shore details that I love. I really feel, I know these are newer releases, but I just think the expressions, they're there, right? Is it Jack and Gus Gus? Jacques and Gus Gus? Gus Gus. Hmm. I love them. And isn't it crazy? Like it took forever to get these released from that Susie, the sewing, the little sewing mouse. I've had that one for well over a decade. How did it take so long to get these guys? But next, what next? He's a beauty. So about my rule with only having one character or one item of each character. I broke it, but you would too. He's beautiful. That's Jeannie. Can't you just hear him? R.I.P. Robin Williams. Oh, is there a Robin Williams flick we don't love? Good morning, Vietnam. I was gonna say, I don't recall Flubber or Mrs. Doubtfire. Patch Adams. Oh, look at him. Oh, yes. So good. Oh, yes. 
got this off the Gymshore website because I just didn't want to miss it. I was like waiting for it to be released. And the first day it was released, add to cart, baby. Keep doing that. And Seth got me this. Holy crap, you guys. When he showed up, I knew he was cool from the photos. The details. You can start with the expression that is spot on, is so perfect. But his tats. You guys, these tattoos. They're so in depth. They're just perfection. His hair. Whatever this garment is called, the details over there. And hey, hey. Sweet, clueless hey, hey. Sorry, I'm trying to get him to, I'm gonna focus there. This is a good, oh, and the hook. Someone I think was reviewing this item and they pointed out his hooks on the bottom. I think I always just glanced at it and thought maybe it was waves, but you can tell it's his hook. It's got the rope tied around at the bottom. Is he wearing the, oh, his necklace, you guys, come on! Yeah, I remember my husband had this on the counter for me because again, I used to work really, really early in the morning. Technically, it was probably still the middle of the night. I couldn't wait, I couldn't wait to come home from work. So before I left, I took it out of the box because I had to see it. Gorgeous. Love it. Can't you just hear the rock? I can! <laughs> All right, I got this when we came home from my Disneyland trip. Because I bought a frame pictured of Donald Duck. I was like watching her on eBay, I think, I think. And you know, Donald and his jacket. I should just grab it, hold on. I always take pictures of these two together. So the second I saw this photo in Disneyland, I knew I had to go add her to cart. And I just think they look gorgeous together. Is it, do I do it this way? So it kind of looks like she's looking at him. Hello. Hello. <sighs> this is my favorite hobby. Styling these things together. <laughs> Isn't she beautiful? No idea when she was released. Because again, I hadn't found her. I was just perusing eBay. Jim Shore. Gorgeous. All right, I've only got three more, guys. Only three more. I think it was an anniversary when these got released. Peg leg Pete. I always want to say Stinky Pete. I'm like, that's Toy Story. Oh, God. Again, I think this one's not popular. I love them. I grew up on these reruns. Oh, my gosh. I will say this series whenever this got released there's one of mickey with a football he's wearing the helmet running down the field and then there's a mickey in the airplane they're all gorgeous i just by the time i was paying attention they were out of my price range and i don't know why everyone's sleeping on peg leg pete but i could afford it and i love them see he falls into that grumpy category like even maui that i just showed you what is it with me and a grumpy character? All right, two more. You waited a long time for a princess and here she is. I know, it's a newer release. You're familiar with her. But you know why I got it, right? Cause Raja. Look at Raja, just doting on her. So in love, that looks just like Raja from the movie, right? I think like a lot of people out there, I didn't know what to make of this like lighter color scheme. I've seen people who get theirs painted. Look at his tail. I like it like this. I've accepted it. I know that's not the, co the color Jasmine wears in the movie, but I love the bottom. I just love Raja. Side character. And a princess by default, a princess that I think looks just like the movie. You can tell because their waist is too small. Oh, Disney. 
I'm so pretty. I love my gym shore. All right, guys, last one. one for myself for my birthday this year. I like I hemmed and hawed because like I said, I I would go check out Hallmark and I'd look at some of these pieces up close and some of the paint jobs and the facial expressions. They just I think it's I've heard it's the manufacturer. It's they've changed manufacturers over the years. All companies do this. I just I'm waiting for when they go back. I've heard a rumor that they're switching manufacturers again. So I was worried that this guy wouldn't be fantastic. I was wrong. Todd and Copper. You can look at this at so many different angles. Look. So beautiful. I love this movie. I love the way they did this log. Just love it. So, I worried for nothing. It showed up and it was beautiful, perfect, gorgeous. All right, guys, did you count? 43. <sighs> mm -hmm. <laughs> I've only got, no, I have less than half of them out. I will get more out. I'm working on the room. The room's only half done, but that's good because I want to make plans and there's so many more things I'd love to buy. Do you guys have, do you collect any other Jim Shore? Rephrase, if you're a Disney Jim Shore collector, do you have any other Jim Shore? I have a couple. I've got a Wicked Witch of the West, right? Glinda the Good Witch. And I have a couple Christmas ornaments. I do have a really gorgeous piece, lost my mind in the store. It's a Christmas, slightly nativity. It's um, Joseph and Mary. And Mary is riding the donkey and she's pregnant. Like how many times in Christmas decor do you ever see a pregnant Mary? I had to have it. You'll never guess who got it for me. My dad. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for sticking it out with me. I know that was long. Editing it should be interesting. <laughs> um, but this was so much fun. I have never done this. I've never had all of my gym shore out of their boxes. I've often had my gym shore in one place, but not out of the boxes. This was a lot of fun. <laughs> um, feel free to leave me a comment. Let me know if you had a favorite. And let me know if you guys are Jim Shore collectors. If you are, I would love to watch a video of your collection. That's all for now. Thanks so much for tuning in. We'll see you in the next one.